What up everyone? Unknown fish guy here. Showing you a new heater I got in. Got the Fluval E series heater. It's to 200 for 65 US gallons. Gonna go, I'm gonna give it a try in the new uh, 60 gallon rainbow tank. So I wanted to show you uh, the product first. What comes in it, just the book or the manual, the little safety sheet, and then the heater itself. Let's see if we put this down here. The heater itself, there is it's pretty big, you know, it's not it's about a foot, a little bit over a foot long, I would say. It comes with your standard suction cups. You can uh push these two let buttons, I guess you'd say, one on each side, and you can move uh the suction cups up and down. Don't really know why you'd I don't know if you want to move it a little bit further down, I guess. But yeah, and it just snaps in place like that. You know, long cord. I had the Fluval M series heaters in two of my tanks now. They do okay, but in the basement where one of my the main display tank is, it's pretty cold, about 64 degrees. So the M heater, it's rated, I want to say for the 60 gallon M heater, and on a 45 gallon tank, it it's all the way at 100% high at 86 degrees, and it barely keeps the temperature at 79, 80 degrees. So there's a big six six degree difference with a cold temp like that. So I'm gonna give uh, the new tank, this one a try, and see what happens, you know. Maybe it'll hold. I expect I'll probably have to go a little bit higher to keep the temperature I want on this heater, just like the other ones. Heck, I might even have to add two, just because it's a lower temperature in the house, in the basement. So yeah, I gotta give you more review on the other ones, the uh, M-Series. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one in. It says it needs a lot of flow over it. So you definitely want to put it like by a outtake nozzle, or at least under a, you know the return of a filter, depending on what filter you're using, canister or hang in the back filter. It says make sure you get a lot of flow. The heater inside, if you can see, it's a heater inside. This is basically just a plastic casing. The housing protects fish if they rub up against so they don't get burned or anything. But you can take the heater out, and the heater will operate without the housing. They don't advise it. I don't know if I, I wouldn't advise it either, but I have heard that you want to clean once in a while the inside, like the heater gets crud or algae get inside these little holes and stuff and start blocking the flow, and that could cause misreadings, I've heard. So you want to keep make sure all these holes are all clear and the heater inside is clear. It's supposed to have a nice, big, I don't know if you can see, LED indicator. It's not on, of course, but uh, as the box will show, it turns green when it's reached temperature, red when the temperature is too high. Blue when the temperature is two degrees too low. It goes in two degree increments to red and blue. Two degrees high, it goes off red. Two degrees below the temperature you said it's blue. And then I'll flash blue and red, as you see in this one, when the temperatures drop below three degrees or more. Or so that the fresh fish could be in trouble. So yeah, it looks uh, nice. Very nice sleek black casing. Hope the LCD screen looks real good, you know. So I'm going to throw it up in the tank, and I'll come back with a, a review on it and stuff. It's got uh, ViewTech technology. So precise temperature, it goes in. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Come on. All right, it's not working here. Okay, easy to adjust. Lever to temperature goes in 0 0.5 increments. So you can put it at like 75.5 or 77.5. Or you can do like 78.0, 79.0, you know. So you got a little bit more room, supposedly, on there. And then it goes down. There's the safety, the integrated fish guard to help protect the fish. And you see in the back, uh, it's got the mounting brackets. It does come with another set of mounting brackets for easy to clip on. And then we go down to the electric technology with advanced technology. The Fluval E-Series is unmatched in precision, reliability, and safety. And there's like the circuitry that's, you know, for the sensor and everything else. So, once again, I repeat, you do want to keep good flow around the heater for these. That's one thing they say, or they won't give an accurate reading. So, I'm going to try it. I got another uh, thermometer I'll have in the tank on the other side where the heater is, just to see how even the temperature, you know, goes first first couple of days to see how accurate it is. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys let you guys know. Another one of the setups. I have the lighting 
video coming soon for the new lighting I'm going to use for the new 60 gal. All right, comment, rate, or subscribe. See you.